Hello, and welcome to my figure drawing video. Um, the initial idea for this video was to do about a hundred drawings and then time lapse them down into a 10 minute video. Uh, I didn't make it to a hundred. I already had so much footage from about 20 drawings that I ended up doing. So probably in the future, I will return to that and do some sort of different spin on it. I really want to look at stylizing figure drawings. But for now, please enjoy what I have done. Thank you. So I didn't get off to a great start. The initial drawings are pretty crummy. Just shaking off the dust. And right about here, I have a face crisis and reworked the faces about a hundred times. Like I said, I don't think these are the strongest drawings which is a shame because they actually started out as some nice 3D forms. Personally, I think the lady on the right in the yellow looked much better as a box lady. Now this third one is actually pulled from different reference and focuses a bit more on the fashion, the folds and things. And I think this is actually a passable little study. Also, no face drama on this one. Although don't worry, face drama makes a comeback soon. Crikey, that's me. I'd say about now is when I start to become a little bit happier with my figure drawing. Initially, I'm just working from the angles of the pelvis and the torso and whatever shapes I can see in the reference. You can probably see that I did have to turn the underleg into a 3D form and connect it back into the pelvis. It was just a little awkward, I think, for my mind to wrap around and that made it a little bit clearer and hopefully coming to the end of this latest incidence of face drama. So next we're back to using boxes again. I don't know, something about the pose screamed out for boxes on boxes this time. So just now I've dropped the opacity to create a rough layer and I do this too much. I think this is also the one time where I drew a really nice foot and then for some reason replaced it with a box. Yeah, it is this one. And I did not give much love to that chair. And back at the face again, I'm just working over the expressions. For this face, I don't think I pulled much from the reference at all. Now I want to pause here for just a second and address the good things and the bad things about this one. So on the negative side, clearly the face is a little bit choppy. I don't think I really stuck the time into it. But on the upside, I think this one might actually have the best hands on any of the figures that I drew. Okay, next figure. This was a cool one because I got to start with that really exaggerated hourglass shape. Something that took me a little bit of time to figure out about this pose is that when someone is in this position, the supporting hand that's resting on the ground is just going to run a straight parallel line with the hips. So currently the arm is running a diagonal line to the hips and it just doesn't make sense because she would have to be leaning on a step or something. That's better. I quite like this drawing. I think the overlap in the feet in particular was really good and probably the weakest part was the hands. So I hated doing this next drawing. Um, I feel like it started out quite nice with lots of S curves. Actually, when I look at the early stages, I prefer that to what I ended up with. Um, I think I just got it in my head while I was drawing it and uh, tried to apply the reference too much. So these next two small ones I threw in to add to the figure drawing count, but make no mistake, I hate them. And I think it's better if we just scrub them out. So at this stage, maybe you're thinking for a video supposedly about figure drawing, you sure have drawn exclusively women, you creep, you creep, creep, creep. And that's a fair criticism. Well, it doesn't get much more manly than this next drawing. 
Ness was surprisingly challenging. I've chucked up the figurine to the left there. So on this one, you can actually see the reference that I was working from. Obviously the initial idea was a bit of a gag on the relationship between the word figure and figurine. Ness seems so simple to draw that it seemed like it would be no sweat to just quickly knock this out and keep on drawing. But after studying full figure human beings, these drastically stylized proportions took some time to adjust to. You'll see in a second that I go way too big on the body. Ness the character is a psychic boy, in addition to just being an ultimate dominator. Kids' heads make up a larger percentage of their body than with adults. This is obviously because your head doesn't grow in step with your body. With Ness, this relationship is exaggerated immensely. Looking back at my final version, even being aware of this fact, I went too small with the head. Back to some more traditional figure drawing and I love these next two drawings. In particular, I wanna try and remember this shape for the future when I'm constructing the back of a knee. I had multiple runs at this face and uh, I don't think I included them all in the video, but obviously after doing these figure studies, it's apparent that I need to review my portraits again. So this next drawing I just like. Um, I like how tubular, tub, tubular it is, if that's a word. I like how 3D it is. One of the areas where I'm lacking in all of my figure studies is I don't really add any story or stylization to any of it. And that will probably be a goal for another video. And that's a good face. And I'm back to drawing manly men again, and I don't think you can get much more manly than Finn Mertens. And again, I own the figure, so that's pretty convenient for me. I think this was the first one I did using Procreate. That might be why we're missing part of the ear and the arm there. Although I don't know if I can tell the difference too much between drawing on TV paint and Procreate. Not much to say about this one. It's Finn if he was a little robot pill man. So next up is a figure that I drew and released as a YouTube short already. I started this one again with boxes, although if you actually watch the drawing, I don't stick to these guidelines very strictly. I think that they were pretty poor boxes from the beginning. So on this one, I actually made myself some notes. Uh, I was at that stage where I thought, what's the point of doing all of these figure drawings? if I'm not going to actually try and actively learn something. So pretty simple stuff, really. I studied the reference and I preferred this shape over the shape that I had, which was something like this. Additionally, I wrote myself a little anatomy reminder that generally women's calves will be a lot thinner than their thighs. This is not as often the case for men. My final note was to remember what a foot turned away from a camera looks like. This foot changed shapes many times. And actually looking at it now, I don't think it's in proportion to the other foot. So just a quick speed run of the other things I changed before the final version. I needed more of an egg shape from the butt to the hips. I needed more of an angle around the chest. I don't think I had the tilt correct and the head was a little large considering the perspective was looking from the ground up. So basically the bottom half should look a lot larger than the top half. This is the last drawing of the video and for this one I even went into a little bit of color. So you can see I'm working through a bunch of different expressions and faces and eventually I land on one that I really like. This is not the one that I end up going with in the end, but uh, I think that might have been a mistake looking back on it. 
So I just wanted to pause here to compare what I ended up going with compared to the earlier version. And yeah, I think there's something kind of unique about the way it was prior to all my meddling. And last is just the final version with the pink skin tone that I ended up giving it versus the original. Uh, that's it. That's everything. So thank you so much for watching. That's awesome if you watch that much. And uh, I hope to see you again.